it's back to school time so let's do some campus and academia but make it romance book recommendations Hi guys, welcome to the Under the Covers channel. I'm Francesca from Under the Covers book blog and today I wanted to share with you guys some recommendations that I recently talked about in our Novel Nights live show and these are going to be campus and academia themed but how it relates to romance books for the most part. I also tried to give you recommendations that may be a little bit underappreciated and that you may not see all the time everywhere, except for maybe one that is very popular. So in a campus novel, basically it does involve with books being set in college, but also like coming of age stories. And with academia, it doesn't necessarily have to have a college setting. It could be high school, it could be a research lab, it should involve some type of academia in it. So it could also be a romance between faculty members. And I do also have a student teacher romance. If you're ready, let's go right into our recommendations from the Novel Nights live show. So my first recommendation, I'm going to, I'm going to try to give you guys some more like traditional and then some, I, I went off the wall a little bit with some paranormals as well. So okay. I'm, taking some liberties with interpretation. You can always expect that with me. Yes! I want to bring yes! stuff that's different. Okay, so the first one, you were just talking about it, is The Love Hypotheses by Allie Hazelwood. And I wanted to make sure that I included this one here because like you said, she'll make you feel smart. And it's definitely a book that's going to bring all of those academia vibes, the struggles, especially for a female in that environment as well. And also like faculty politics and things like that. It is a grumpy sunshine dynamic. There is some fake dating. There's a workplace romance. The heroine is a PhD candidate. And basically, she ends up fake dating a professor. So it's very, it also is very funny. I find that it includes plenty of humor as well. So it, it kind of has everything that you would want in a rom com while at the same time really delivering on that academia part and giving you all of the, you know, like all of those faculty kind of politics and all of the mess of that. So I think that that's a great entry point into it. It's not super heavy. I think that Ali Hazelwood did a really good job at making it lighthearted. And even if you are not familiar, it's not like your field, you still really understand everything. And you kind of get a glimpse of what that life is, but in, in a way that is still relatable. So I really, really like that one. My second choice, I'm going to go paranormal with this one, and it's Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. So in this one, we do have a kind of like a boarding school, but we have vampires, and these vampires also have basically their bodyguard, and the boarding school or this training academy is where the Dampier, which is the bodyguard, has to train to protect their vampire, which they're kind of like royalty in this in this world. So it they are training to protect. And there's also the series goes for like five books and the heroine ends up kind of falling in love with her mentor. And, you know, there's a little bit of forbidden romance. It doesn't have that royalty vibe. There's plenty of action. I just love this series. So definitely really recommend that. It is a YA paranormal. Romance is top notch. I love, the, I love this couple. They did make this into a movie. Do not recommend. <laughs> Speaking of adaptations. Then the next one that I have is going more to a high school. It's Beauty and the Bowler by Ilsa Madden Mills. So in this one, the heroine is the librarian at the school. And so it is a faculty relationship. And the hero was an ex NFL, I think quarterback, if I remember correctly. And he's grieving the death of his fiance and he goes back to his small town. He ends up being like the football coach and the townspeople really don't want him to leave so that the team at the school could actually prosper and, you know, win tournaments and whatever. So they want him, they're really trying to set him up with somebody local from the town so that he can stay. And the heroine had just recently moved back into town to take care of her sister after her mother's death. And they end up this relationship, but they did have a previous meeting. He just doesn't remember her. They kind of had like a one night stand at a party. He has no idea that it's her. And 
in order for him to get rid of all those women that the townspeople are pushing on him, they end up having a fake dating relationship. They're also next door neighbors. So it's a neighbors to lovers and fake dating and workplace scenario. So it does deal a little bit of the academic politics of the two of them dating while they're in the school and all of that. So a little bit of sports, a little bit of the academic environment there. The next one, I'm going for a terrible relationship and it's a student teacher romance. It's Black Rainbow by JJ McAvoy. And this one, the two main characters actually have a one week fling. And she met him, he's a musician, so she met him playing at a bar and they have this amazing week together and they were basically just going to part ways. And when she goes into her class at the college, she's, she wants to be a lawyer, so she's in law school and she goes into her class and he turns out to be her professor. And now she's vying for one of like the 12 people that he's going to take under his wing and she's kind of like deciding whether she's going to pursue that or because of her previous relationship, she's going to kind of take a different class, but she really needs to take the class because he's the best and she's trying to deal with some stuff with her father, with her family. So this is another one, a little bit of taboo. It's not super taboo again, because the age is not, you know, then nothing is underage or anything like that. So I really enjoyed it was a great, uh, a great one. And it does deal with a lot of the academic politics. And the last one is a gothic romance. It does have a paranormal element. It's called The Headmaster by Tiffany Rice or Rice. I'm not really sure how you say her name. Uh, this one is a gothic romance. It, it is set at a boarding school for all boys in a remote town, I think in West Virginia, if I remember correctly. And the heroine is grieving the death of her fiance and she ends up like driving aimlessly and she finds this school, this boarding school, applies, gets the position to teach there. It's an all boys school and she gets the job. So she starts working. Everything seems like one of those places where it's a perfect environment. Everything is too perfect and it's eerie and has that gothic vibe. And obviously there's a little bit of mystery too. So it's a great kind of atmospheric read. And there is a relationship that develops between her and the headmaster at the school. So yeah, something a little bit different, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of everything. And those were the books. I would love to know if you guys read any of these, what did you think of them? And let me know what are your recommendations for books that are campus and academia themed, but that are romance books. Leave them in the comments. I'd love to check out more. And also for more book recommendations, don't forget to visit us on our blog at underthecoversbookblog.com. We have tons and tons more recommendations on there. Sign up for the newsletter and we'll be in your inbox every single Sunday with all of the links latest content that we post. If you want to catch Novel Nights, you can actually join us live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube or also streaming from our Facebook page. That's all I have today for you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!